Hello. With all of the bustle of daily life and the general difficulty we have with making ends meet, worries and problems of all sorts, these can gain the upper hand and distract us from, a, from obtaining true peace and harmony. Now more than ever, we need to dedicate time to finding out who we really are and subsequently bring about a consonance with our material and spiritual life. The way to do this is through meditation. On page 298 of The Way to Live by Billy, he states, quote, through the meditative practice, everything negative in the human being allows itself to be neutralized so that he, she can be free of everything which disturbs or prevents the attentiveness. However, if the human being works on himself, herself, and learns the meditative attentiveness, then his, her negative reflecting and striving change to fundamentally being good and thereby to his or her true nature. One's inner nature begins to light up and creates a warm, pleasant climate in the consciousness and in the psyche, whereby the true nature is made to bloom. For this reason, the meditative practice for the purpose of gaining attentiveness may be called genuine work for peace, which creates aggressionlessness and the absence of gewalt and makes the human being a human being. Also on page 298 of The Way to Live, Billy writes, quote, There is a meditation of the flowing thoughts, emotions, and feelings. With this form of meditation, one allows the thoughts, emotions, and feelings to simply come and pass again, regardless of how they arise and how they discontinue. One simply allows them to flow from the beginning to the passing exactly as if they were waves of the ocean which arise and flow away to then pass again without trace. Any thoughts, emotions and feelings which rise up are simply allowed to emerge and disappear again, totally without coercion and without approaching them. One must not reach for them or nurture them or indulge in them. And one must not cling to them or attempt to reinforce them. Neither the thoughts nor the emotions nor feelings may be followed, nor may the, they be invited to remain. May the human being himself herself be like an ocean, which observes and considers its own waves without any play of thoughts, emotions and feelings. And if one acts accordingly, then one soon notices that thoughts, emotions, and feelings very quickly come and pass and are just like a burst of wind which comes from nowhere and again disappears to nowhere. This is the secret of the flow meditation, that one does not contemplate thoughts, emotions, and feelings and does not attempt to catch them. Rather, one simply allows them to flow and thereby simultaneously frees the material consciousness from burdens, which is the actual sense of this form of meditation. So now we have a new tool in our toolbox for the attaining of a neutral observation point and freeing the material consciousness of oppressive thoughts. This is a practical and simple meditation which can be easily applied May this be an assist in bringing about peace, love, and harmony. Thank you, Salome. Mm -hmm.